Shoot, 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 shoot. I gotta get dressed. We had a problem. Sam went down to the barn and there's a problem. Oh my gosh. Gabby! We gotta go. Sophie! We gotta go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Problem in the barn. Good morning guys, welcome to today, you won't believe what happened. Alright so I walked into the room this morning and this is what I saw, also saw the buckets of food I had ready on the floor, but they're all in a pile and Storm's food bucket's always on top. This is what I come to and the first thing I see, I see is all this and I'm like, oh no, a raccoon! Ate all of Willow's, Willow's grain. grain. Ate a lot of this growing wind and didn't touch much of that. All the lids off and the buckets were right here in the floor. Luckily she didn't get to Stella's Pill. pills and stuff. But then I saw this and I'm like, oh no. One of the horses got out. Thinking, who would it be? Storm? Stella? Obviously not Willow. <laughs> Maybe Finn. Oh, there's Sophie. So then I'm walking around and I notice a big growing wind there on the ground. So Which used to be on top of this. And it was on top of that <laughs> bin. And I walk around oh, wow. and I walk around and I see Finn standing right here being a bad boy. <laughs> he took this big bale of hay from over there. He dragged it out. He dragged a bale of hay out and he was eating it here. He looks uh, guilty. You're guilty. I caught you in the act. You're a no, I don't know if he's going to get look sick. look at his mane. It's good. Like, look at his I mane. Know. Yeah, like they've been pulling his mane and they're working on it still. That's a lesson. And who is the last one in Finn's stall? No. You didn't close the door properly. Well, I didn't go Didn't anything. close the door. I didn't go or I didn't close the door anyways and I usually keep the window open and I keep this back door open so that there's a good airflow and it doesn't get too hot in here and the girls windows are open too but I guess I need to start closing that door. How do you feel about your boy being a bad boy? I'm really mad because he left poop. He left you a present too. When I first saw it I'm like oh my gosh there's a raccoon in there. And their thing, there's a family of raccoons and they're eating all the grain. But then I saw the big pile of poop. As evidence, Finn is guilty and I saw Finn over there eating a big bale of hay. Finn just got hungry. <laughs> Better make sure those doors are locked. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever let not close the door properly and a horse got out and got into everything? You're Does that happen to you? How did he get out? Did somebody not close his stall or did he figure out? There's no way he figured out how to open this. This is not the kind of stall that you can break free of. Finn, uh, oh, I'm panicking. So I texted Fiona and was like, help us. Our horse ate so much grain. He ate so much grain, you guys. Wait. Like, did you explain how much grain he ate? So he didn't just eat like the sweet feed. They they, they oh. love the growing wind. The growing wind oh, with all the vegetables, or all the vitamins. It wasn't closed all the way. So who did it? Dad grabbed the grain bucket. Did you take the grain bucket? Oh, oh good save. Dad is. It was either me or Sophie. Dad or always. Hook wait, hook wait. She didn't hook pick. I asked oh. her. So. <laughs> I already hooked it today. Way to deflect onto your nine-year-old daughter and try and blame her. So I always check the I doors before the I leave. Owner. Blame the horse owner. Okay, you guys, comment below. Whose fault was this? The person who didn't close the stall or the person who owns the horse? It's both me and Sophie's fault because we both did chores last time. You're the, you're the dad. You're the overseer. She's the owner of that horse. She should have known. So now we know, Sophie, you always have to check your stall, right? It was not your fault though. So girls are uh, doing the very busy task today of getting the horses fed and outside. Oh wait, what's that? You're pulling you're pulling mane. <laughs> Sophie's pulling mane too. Finn's like, woo, this door is open. So anyway, 
this is how much grain he ate um so this basket was almost as full as this basket that is a, a lot of grain like that's a half a he probably ate a half a bag of grain or more like so now we see what he likes also this had a, a small covering on the bottom so he likes willow's grain and the growing wind because he ate it all like oh my gosh that is a lot of grain yeah, Sam probably already told you. He also pushed these down onto the ground and ate those first, but he didn't get Stella's uh, calming supplement, which probably would have been like a good thing. Could have been way worse. Could have been like a destruction zone in here. At least that. So basically, in the winter, we close all the doors so it maintains the heat in here. And in the spring and in the summer, when it's kind of cooler, I want them to like be comfortable in here. So we leave all the doors open. Thank God we closed this. We close this and we leave everything else open. Yeah. Whew. Okay, I'm breathing again. So no food for Finn today. So I don't know how we're gonna put Hort Storm in the field. We are not gonna be able to. Oh well. Things happen. So what did you what did you think when you came in this morning? Like did you walk in and be like, oh there's raccoons? Yeah, that's what I would have thought too. Until I saw the horse poop. <laughs> Yeah, Finn, if you want to try and be sneaky, you don't leave a pile of horse poop. <laughs> like that's, that's the biggest clue. So, did you, did you like freak out when you saw the horse poop? I was like, oh no, which horse is out? <laughs> <laughs> if it was me, I'd be like, oh crap, did I do this? Huh. And you really did do this. Nope. <laughs> All right, girls, let's get these horses, other horses fed. Not all, yeah, no wonder he's all calm in there. He's got a belly full of grain. Like, he eats so much grain. We're going to have to watch him. That's a really good job, Sophie. I'm so uh, proud and impressed of you. So, basically, what we're going to do is um, leave Finn in his stall. We're going to clean it, muck it, leave him in here. He's not having any food, nothing, till some hay at noon. Um, yeah. So, um, we're going to leave him in his stall. We're going to leave him in his stall so that we can monitor his drinking and his poops. So we're going to give him some electrolytes. Sam, we got to go to the store and get some electrolytes. Oh, wow, Stella. This morning. This you morning be looking yesterday. fly. Oh, it looks even better when her mane's like... Oh, my gosh. Okay, but keep going down so it's like down like that. I love it. Gabby, you are good. Um, what we're doing today is something different always something new every opportunity to learn is often started with a fail like this So Sam, did you learn anything? Don't trust Sophie with <laughs> the door. Yeah, It was you I always double check the doors every single night because I'm a paranoid person does he? Oh, well, so you know what God just wanted us just to doing it with me, yeah. God wanted us to, us to experience the whole overindulging of a horse and learn all the things that you have to do when your horse overeats Storm Slow up buddy Sophie is going to take Finn for a walk all around the arena while I muck his stall. Uh, lots of walking. Sam has gone to buy some electrolytes at the store and get more hay. And Gabby is pulling Willow's mane. Because, yeah, that's important. Wow, even Willow's letting Gabby do her mane. And I don't want to say goodbye to... It used to be down to here. Now it's here. Wow, you're so good at this. I think we should do something to the front of her hair, too. Like, I love the look of Willow. I love her long hair, but it's going to be really hot summer, and I don't want her to get overheated. She's a dark color, too. Stella's coming. She's lumbering over. She's like, what are you doing to my pony? Yeah, I can always tell that she's mad by that tail. She'll walk around, walk around, and then zoom. She's like, leave her alone. Oh, she's coming to the other food. 
I guess. Uh, when we learn to pull mane, everybody gets a haircut. <laughs> right, so we're on poop number three since uh, we've been down here with Finn. We should take that one out so we can remember. Let him drink the water, so fix the bucket so he can drink water. He's lots of water, but yeah, three poops. I know it's early still, especially if you did that this morning, ate all that this morning. It's gonna be a long day, but at least things are moving. I'm headed up to the house to make breakfast for us, and then we're gonna do our school down at the barn. I'm gonna start reading down there, and the girls are gonna pull mane and eat while I do the reading. Oh. Te technically, we probably don't have to stay down there um, right now. But Finn's unsettled in his stall, and even though he should be fine, we put Storm where he can see him and be close. Um, if we can do that, we want to, so we can, so we're gonna. Uh, we have eggs and toast and it's sometimes oatmeal but usually eggs and toast because I want my kids to have protein in the morning it helps to uh, keep them satisfied for a longer period of time and we are all about eating in moderation everything we eat everything we just eat in moderation we just eat a normal amount of food instead of overeating which is what we've done for a long time anyways um, but today is a different day Today is going to be a totally different breakfast. I'm going to show you guys. Um, girls are having a toaster strudels. Don't look at that. Got a little bit burnt. Um, toaster strudels and chocolate milk. I'm having a smoothie. And I'm going to take it down to the barn, even though I don't need to do that. Even though this is just like, might seem over the top to you guys, because our horse ate a lot of grain. Like a lot of grain. Um, I don't want my kids to grow up and be like at my funeral, remember that time when your horse ate all the grain and mom brought us a special yummy fun breakfast down to the barn and we got to spend the whole day in the barn doing our school work together. I want that. Like I want them to have some amazing fun memories and it's not because I want them to think I'm awesome, it's because I want them to do that to their kid too. So yeah, that's what's going to happen. I'm headed down with our breakfast just trying to figure out how I'm going to carry it all. So I made it and our jump. This little kind of burnt. come on Sophie I never said I was a good cook um and Ooh, if you I'm just wait this. you should put it in for you should have came up and did it yourself sister be grateful for what you got um, our jump blocks are the perfect little table for us we're gonna do our schoolwork here wow storm you got yourself some bushy hair there <laughs> Wow, that is all the hair you pulled off of Willow. Yeah. Poor Willow. Just wait, look at Storm's hair. It is, he has a naturally pulled mane. He's like, why are you judging? Don't judge me. This no, is my smoothie. Because you don't even have to cut yeah. Or do anything. Yeah, we don't have to do anything for show. You're a natural horse show horse, aren't you? Wow. Willow. So will you cut this too? Like I think you can't it can't pull that. No, but I think it hurts so we bad. should find out how you cut it and then cut it because I wanted to. Even though I love a horse's mane, and a lot of people are gonna be like, "No, back away from the horse's hair." I think no. I think she's got a cute face. We just need to cut this down yeah. to here. No, let's see. <laughs> what about if we cut it down to like? Let's ask Fiona to cut it here. No, I want to cut it. Like I, I want it to look like Coco, the horse that Gabby rode this week. His mane is so okay. super cute. So look who came to listen to our story today. <laughs> He's such a cuddly yeah. kitty, isn't he? Mm -hmm. oh, what did you get us, Sam? Power quench apple flavor. Power quench apple. How much is that? 23 bucks. $23, that's a good price. Electrolyte supplement for horses. So Finn's been doing a lot of drinking, but he's gonna get some of this. And I wanted this anyways because we can take it camping with us. We can take it to shows. We can take it to shows with us. I know. That's such a rip off, right? You make it look like there's a lot. Yeah, they give you a big, huge bucket, and then it's only full to like there. Half. Not even half. Like. Cool. Yeah, like that's how much is in it. That's such a rip off. But anyway, it will last us a really long time, so that's good. So even though I hate the look of cut pony hair. Uh, yeah, it looks okay, and I think she's gonna appreciate it because 
<laughs> it's it. going to be so much cooler. Oh, cool. You're almost done, so. Yeah, like, I'm so proud of my girls. I'm so proud of me for letting it happen because I'm usually a control freak about stuff like this. And then do the other side, too. So do it so that it goes all the way up tall. But yeah, look at Willow, Sam. She does not have so much hair that she can breathe now. It'll shed you out better. So she gave me the scissors. I always mess it up. So I'm like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Poor Willow. We still love you, Willow. We just want you to see. What does um, that little pony Coco look like? I like his haircut. Let's see. He's scared of Let's see. Oh gosh. It looks a lot better than how you did it. Yeah. Like. We should have looked up pictures. So these little scoops that I told you that somebody sent us that we use for everything, I'm going to use those again. So basically I'm going to take this electrolytes and I use a scoop. I use a scoop of it and I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to add this to our collection of stuff. I ran out of the house so fast today, I'm frozen. So then, I'm going to take some water, and I'm going to dissolve this in water. See how handy these buckets are? Like, I'm not even joking. I'm going to dissolve it. It smells good. It's like apple. I feel like eating it myself. Yes. Then, I'm going to come over to my handy dandy first aid box. I don't know if I showed this to you guys before. I think I did, but then I cut it out. But anyway, I have suture kits which obviously I am never going to use but I have them here in case I need them three of them if you guys don't know what a suture kit is I guess I have just two it's like for sewing up in uh, injuries um, and I have all these syringes now like that's a lot that's amazing to me so I'm going to get one of these I also have um, some more gauze. I have a bunch. This is all gauze and some tape. I also have, you don't want to see what's in this one, but it's all needles. So I can use these, take the needle off and use them for administering my banamine if I need to. I also have extra needles and uh, these are not for me, but they're if I, if I need them. I have um, a vet friend. Um, I have some sponges, some uh, antibiotic creams. I have all my vet wrap, which I think I have more somewhere. Oh, Sophie put her separate. So we do have more vet wrap. Um, and th those are my kits. So yeah, we still need more stuff. And then over here, I have all my medicines. This is uh, my whole entire bottle of Banamine. I got a big, huge one. Um, and I have, um, this is a stock tank secret. It's barley straw and you put it in your stock tank in the summer and it gets all the algae out and it's Danny the horse girl and versatile horsemanship, uh, both had foals recently on their channels. Uh, they gave this to us and once it gets warm here, I'm going to put it in. I have our hero. I have some, uh, antibiotics. I have some, uh, butte. Like, this is a big bucket of butte, too. I'm so lucky to be able to have gotten this stuff. I have an ace, if I ever need that. I also have some probiotic here, some gastra medicine. Anyways, so, yeah, that's how we're going on the first aid kit. Oh, I also have a sharps container. Woo woo! I'm going to soak all this up. And then we're going to give this to Finn. We're going to do, I, obviously I'm going to have to give him two. I put a lot of water in there. Lesson for next time. A little bit less water. Oh my gosh, what's happening out here? What happened? The storm was running. Like it was. storm tried to attack Ruby. Ruby was in his way. Because he's spicy and yells around. <laughs> Macy, you cannot take Storm. <laughs> Macy just tried to take on Storm. Yeah, that would not go over well. So, this is a hard one to, to give. It's okay. Good. Oh, nope, not getting it in there. Open your mouth. 
<laughs> I like it. It's good. <laughs> he was holding it in his mouth. It's okay, I got lots more. You want a drink? Should have made it more pasty. I should have made it more pasty. I'm trying to laugh. You should come get a more here on the side of the healthy food. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> rub his neck. That's what I've been doing. But <laughs> no, he, he's too smart. You're too smart. Cracks me up though. See how calm he is? He's like, I will. I don't care what you guys say. I'll just hold it in my mouth until you let go of me. Oh, oh yeah. Switch arms. Come on. Slow it down, dude. Slow it down. <laughs> Good eyeball. He's happy to have us in here with him. He just doesn't want to swallow it. Dripping down my arm. I'm gonna check my arm. You got it. So the big problem was is this is so new and so hard and stiff. I couldn't shoot it like in one fast motion. I couldn't shoot it down his. Ooh, that worked. All right. You make it pasty. You can't yeah, next time I'll do it pasty. Oh, you monster. <laughs> but that's not all of it. I got a lot in there. <laughs> so apparently it smells good. It doesn't taste good because you did not like it.